Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you the code review techniques in Python. Uh, in this comprehensive uh, video tutorials, I will cover the six most important code review techniques. So uh, by the end of this video tutorial, you will have a comprehensive understanding about code review techniques in Python program. Let's get started. The first one is the style guidelines. So you have to follow the style guidelines, which is uh, defined in the Python styling guidelines. So uh, for example, uh, compare the poorly formatted code with PP8 compliant code, highlighting the significance of proper uh, identification, spacing and naming conversion. These are very important. You have to uh, be careful when you are writing your Python code. Uh, as you can see in this example, the first one just uh, violating the PP8 uh, standards because there is uh, no space in between variable name and uh, the assignment operator. So this is not a good styling, but it is not error, but it is not a good styling. So you have to follow uh, the PP8 compliant standards. You have to just properly format uh, the indentation also. For example, if you put uh, more spaces in, uh, in this case, it just generate an error because uh, this is not properly uh, indented. So as you can see here, an unexpected indentation. So this is not uh, following the style guidelines. So you have to indent uh, 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 properly your Python code. Uh, when you are defining variables, when you are defining functions or conditional statements, loops, whatever, you have to just uh, uh, properly uh, ident your Python code and properly uh, uh, provide the spaces uh, as necessary and uh, properly uh, uh, give variable names. Variable names very, very important when you are defining variables in Python code. So this is the first one. The second one uh, is uh, readability and maintain, uh, maintainability. Uh, so uh, the significance of writing code that is easy to understand modify and maintain over time. So when you are writing Python code, your Python code uh, uh, should be readable, uh, maintainable uh, over time. So uh, for example, compare uh, the code with uh, poorly named variables and functions to code with descriptive names. When you are defining variables, so you have to just uh, write a descriptive variable name uh, and function name and class name. For example, the first one is poorly named variable because X uh, doesn't define any uh, data. It's what kind of data you are storing in this variable. So it is not a descriptive variable name. But the second one is uh, correctly describe the values that uh, store in this variable. So uh, because the variable name is uh, a descriptive variable name. So this is readable and easily maintainable. So this is one of the second uh, 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 techniques of code review in Python. So even if you are defining a function, the function also uh, descriptive. So without uh, commenting, without writing comment, so everyone can understand that uh, by looking at the variable name and the function name or the class name you defined in your Python code because if it is uh, uh, descriptive. And the third one is error detection and bug fixing. So uh, detecting errors uh, and fixing uh, any uh, bugs are very important as a Python uh, developer or programmer. So you have to identify a logical error in your function uh, and suggest this a fix and also review uh, any exception handling uh, in your Python code to perform uh, that, uh, to handle the errors, to catch the errors. So uh, let's try to see an example. In the first example, there is a logical error. This, uh, as you can see, the function uh, is a descriptive, so it, without any comment, 
you can understand this is just calculate the, a discount. The variables are, uh, the arguments uh, are uh, descriptive price and discount percentage. So the logical uh, errors in this uh, function is uh, this one. Uh, actually, logical error is different from uh, type error or syntax errors because logical error is not uh, uh, easily understandable by the programmer. The programmer couldn't figure out the logical errors because uh, the logical error is not uh, generating any syntax error or uh, type errors. It's just uh, printing out the code correctly, but the output is uh, incorrect. That is called a logical error. If the output is incorrect, that is logical error. So you have to just fix the, the logical errors uh, in your program. For example, here, this is uh, just printing the correct uh, uh, without any error, but uh, it just print incorrect output. So you, you expect uh, uh, the output, but the output uh, will be uh, different from your expectation. That is a logical error, mean. So in this case, the corrected formula is like uh, first uh, uh, divide the discount percentage by 100, then multiplied by price. But in this case, if you multiply the price by discount percentage first and divide by 100, so it's, uh, the output will be different. So that is a logical error. So you have to fix the logical errors in your program. That is one of the uh, code review techniques. And the other is uh, exception handling. If, for example, in the missing exception handling in this code, uh, divide numbers, uh, for example, if the denominator is zero, it is not uh, uh, divide numbers by zero. So you have to put, uh, you have to fix your error by using try uh, cache exception or exception handling. You have to put this in the exception, except zero division error. Print. by zero, zero. For example, if you call this function, uh, divide numbers two by zero, b is zero. So it just prints, does not divide by zero. So you can easily handle your errors. That is the other uh, code review techniques you have to follow. As you can see here, then the functions are descriptive. Divide numbers, just divide numbers, A and B, takes two parameters, A and B, and just returns the division, the quotient. Okay, the other uh, is the fourth one uh, of code review techniques in this video tutorial is scalability and performance optimization. This is the most important thing. You have to optimize your Python code uh, uh especially uh, performance and scalability okay so uh, compare an efficient loop for summing numbers with a more uh, efficient approach using a built-in uh, functions and showcasing the impact of optimization uh, uh, optimizing code for better performance so uh, the second and the first codes are just returning the same output there is no error, but the first one is inefficient loop. So instead of just iterating each uh, item in the uh, list and uh, so, uh, summing up the uh, number, so you have to just use built-in functions. So the second one is more efficient approach using the sum function instead of using the first one. So you have to always uh, use uh, well-performed uh, 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 code and scalable uh, code. So this is the most uh, Python uh, code review techniques you have to follow.
And the fifth one is security and the robustness consideration. You have to consider the security perspective, robustness of your Python program. Uh, in this case, uh, as you can see uh, in the uh, example here, uh, for example, if you run uh, a, a SQL uh, query in Python code, so you have to just avoid any vulnerable uh, to SQL injection uh, because uh, it is open to uh, attack or it is open to hackers. So the first one is uh, it just uh, vulnerable. So uh, you have to prevent SQL injection with parameterized queries. So you have to use uh, like this uh, parameterized query instead of uh, this one. So this is one of the techniques uh, to avoid, to prevent SQL injections that uh, basically the security and robustness perspective. Okay. Uh, high, uh, so SQL injection and propose a safer approach using parameterized uh, 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 queries. Okay. And the last uh, one in this video tutorial is testability. Your Python code uh, should be testable. So uh, evaluate the code with inadequate test coverage and suggest additional test cases demonstrating the importance of uh, compressive testing and providing practical scenarios. So in this case, for example, uh, inadequate test, this is normal function. It just, uh, uh, returning the sum of two numbers. So, but your Python code should pass different testing stages. You have to just uh, assign and call that function and assign values, different values uh, 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 in the test cases, and it should pass all test cases uh, to be uh, testable, okay? So uh, this is the most important thing. So uh, the first one is not uh, inadequate test coverage. So you have to use uh, different testing strategies to test your Python code before deployment, especially if you are if you're gonna uh, deploy your Python code. Okay. So assertion is one of the testing uh, method, and you can use uh, unit test, uh, integrative uh, uh, test and different testing strategies to test your Python code and instead of uh, using this uh, uh, normal function uh, testing. This is one test stage, uh, but you have to use different tests and by uh, uh, just uh, changing the values, the values uh, and the condition, okay? For example, three plus four is equal to seven. It should be uh, equal to pass this testing stage okay is there true or false so uh, all these are the uh, uh, today's lesson uh, about the techniques uh, of uh, i mean uh, code review techniques in python program so uh, testability security and robustness uh, scalability and performance optimization uh, error detection and bugs, uh, bug fixing, readability and maintainability, and style guidelines are all the six uh, most important uh, code review techniques. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed in this video tutorial. Don't uh, forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching today.